Okay, working on the dome once again. Uh, I've had the ongoing problem of the, the lip, the outer ring here, just touching the inner side of the uh, of the Lazy Susan. So um, I've took some quite drastic action, actually. Uh, I took this top, which is the lower ring piece, uh, apart, completely unglued it, um, with uh, uh, super glue de uh, unsol desolvent. Uh, which worked really well. It wasn't too hard to take it apart, actually. And um, I've added the thickness of um, about about one and a half mil, I'd say, in between each piece, maybe coming on to two mil, uh, to give it some extra um, uh, you know, circumference. Redrilled these holes um, out so I could force the, the whole ring out and then uh, screwed it all back together. So it's actually, if you looked at it on the side, you can see it there, it's probably it's probably gone out about two mil all the way around, which which seems to have finally done the trick. I think it's just because the um, Lazy Susan I had was uh, of a size, you know, and um, so if I put that back in there, And now um, rotates without catching. Finally, it was all—it was always uh, rotating, but it just every now and then caught, and uh, once or twice actually jammed up. So um, that is now rotating. It's just added that uh, extra mil. It's slightly um, um, damaged the, the actual ring, but uh, I've refilled it these gaps, filled those gaps uh, with, uh, with a um, soldering pen, uh, with, a, uh, with this in fact, my new uh, 3D pen, um, and filed it down. Um, also I've just got a soldering iron, I've melted some of the plastic into place, uh, big ventilator because it stinks like anything. Um, so that is also locked together again, really tightly screwed down. I've been going around, it looks a bit messy at the moment, but uh, once I've got some paint on there that'll all uh, disappear. So I've been, also I've noticed uh, on, the, uh, on the forums people have been uh, welding these joints together. Which is one of the reasons I got the uh, the uh, 3D pen because um, there was a lot about it on the 3D printers uh, forums, which is a great idea. Because I was a little bit worried, although this is glued, once I painted it, I might then start getting hairline cracks, which I think everyone uh, was uh, one of the reasons everyone did it. So, uh, so I've um, just basically heated up the the end and just uh, uh, welded those those joints together. Uh, I've I've just. A few minutes ago, sanded that one and filed that one down. Uh, but you can see what they're like before they. Uh, let's get that on there. So I'm going to, uh, as you can see, it, it doesn't stand out too much. So I'm going to, I'm going to file that down as I've as I've done that and get some filler on there. Um, I've just started just sanding these edges down again. Well, that needs a bit of work on it, but they, they're not too bad actually. Um, I'm ready to, if I just pan, oh, I don't need to pan up, ready to finally put this, this has always been ready to put on, but it's just been easier while I've been uh, messing around with it not to have that in place, because uh, you can you can turn it upside down. But it's about time I actually got some filler on this and painted it, uh, and I've fairly got an idea what colours I'm going to do. So, so I'm not going to do the standard uh, silver and blue, um, but I'm probably going to do a sort of a red and silver, something like that. Um, Finished, so I just want to get some painting done. Um, I've got a, a, quite a bit of undercoat on the on the legs, um, and if the weather gets better, I can probably get uh, uh, some more coats on those. This is I was thinking about reprinting these at one point because of the way I printed them, um, but I think I'll just keep them as they are and just uh, um, fill them and just uh, work on those because they just do a little bit messy at the top. But um, we'll see. I'm not quite sure. I might uh, see how they sand down a bit. But uh, so it's really back to sorting out the dome and uh, painting, which is what I want to get done uh, for the next few days. So as you can see, I've uh, started uh, getting an undercoat on it. And also I've stuck this top piece on, which is uh, finally uh, 
Uh, I hadn't stuck it on up until now because it was easy to just sit this upside down. But uh, now I've got the undercoat on. Um, I've put a filler, as you saw earlier, around these joints, which has worked out really well. This orange undercoat is really good, which is uh, just Halford's filler primer. Um, I wasn't sure if this was going to be any good on plastic, but it's, it seems to be really good. So uh, um pleased with that. It's come up very... Sm I mean, this is filled in really well, so I'm really happy with that. Um, so that, that's just one coat of, of uh, undercoat so far. I've uh, sanded this down with a with a file, with a rasp, uh, and just on these edges, you can see where it's been sanded, because it just uh, highlights it. The, this is obviously going to need a bit of filling now, uh, and sanding, which I'll do in a minute. Um, but uh, it's not it's not come out too badly actually. These gaps, which I was showing you earlier, uh, have been filled. Uh, you can see them inside. Uh, you saw that earlier anyway. So, uh, so that's all right. I mean, there was a slight uh, height difference there, so I've just sanded that back a bit. Um, but as I say, that's just the initial undercoat. But the the, the finish on it is is. It's, with a bit of sanding, it comes out really smooth. I mean, it's, it still needs a bit more work on it. But uh, I'm going to um, sand this, these edges down a bit uh, and put another coat on now. So I just uh, sort of show that just as it's going along. I mean, this is the last. A lot of people paint these right at the beginning. <laughs> I've just never got around to painting anything, really. So I thought it'd be nice to do the dome because I keep seeing other people's dome painted domes on, on the... On the uh, on the sites and um, they just look so good. So I thought I'd uh, sort of do this one and get this finally finished. It, it now does rotate properly as well, uh, which is good. It doesn't jam anymore. Well, it didn't anyway when I checked it the other day. So um, once I get that painted um, and the little panels as well, it's uh, ready to. And I've got the um, the eyeglass piece. I actually bought a sort of magnifying glass to go in, in the lens. So I'll do that later as well. Uh, get all that glued on. Um, so just uh, I'll just keep going.